going on everybody welcome to the swing trader channel and today we're going to be talking about three stocks uh the first one is going to be fcel so we're going to see what's going on with this stock it's starting to pull back so a lot of people were wondering is it, good, is it a good time to get in this stock and the other one we're going to we're going to be talking about is inpx and then finally we're going to go ahead and take a look at ontx i made some day trades in this today made some profit on it so if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video and let's get right into these three stocks I don't want to forget. Let's go Buffalo. We got a playoff game Saturday. All right. So as you can look at the chart here, FCEL came up to some pretty hard resistance right around the $2 and 65 cents mark. And I was looking for a pullback on this stock because it was pretty well overextended. And we had support right down here at about a dollar 90, I'll say. And that's basically where the bleeding stopped today was right around that area. So the question is, would this be a good entry point to get in now that we're knowing that it's holding the support level here? So one thing you want to look at, the volume decreased a lot right here, but the volume was green. Unlike yesterday, it was just really red. And if we're looking down in the future, we actually have an earnings call coming up. At, I believe this is the, uh, the 14th. So we could see a play off of that. So come Monday, I'm really going to have my eyes on this stock to see what it does. I want to see if it holds the support level here at about 190. What I would really like to see it play out is it come up here and then it comes back down where it has a double bottom and then we're going to see a rip. That's what I would really like to see play out. Now, for those of you that don't know anything about this company, it's basically a fuel company, but they're green. So they don't really create any pollution or anything. But with the earnings coming up on the 14th and it looks to be pre-market hours, which I want to say right off the bat, I don't like to play earnings because you're basically playing a 50-50 card. If they have a bad one, this thing could drop really hard. But I do like to play good earnings after the actual earnings because the stock will normally run up a couple days after that. So this is for some of you people that don't do your DD out there. This is the reason why FCEL had its huge run. It was basically because they announced that their wastewater treatment facility started its commercial operations. So that means that money is going to start to come in. And that's what the stock market likes. It likes when you have lots of money coming in or any kind of money coming in. So right now I have FCEL on hard watch. All right, so I got INPX pulled up here. This thing has been on a spaceship and is traveling to the moon. I think it already got to the moon, actually. And some people were asking me about it yesterday, and I, I didn't like it. I thought it was way too overextended, and I was not expecting this big old candlestick today to go up. But then the stock eventually came back to reality, and it came back down here down below it. And right now, we have resistance right around 47 cents. I can see the stock pulling back pretty hard on Monday. It is really overextended, like extremely overextended. And if I shorted stocks, I would probably want to short this one. That's just me, though. Don't do something just because I'm going to do it. But I don't short stocks anyways. And you're probably wondering, why don't you short stocks? Well, I can't on my account. Maybe eventually down the road, I'll get another account where I can short stocks. But as of right now, I'm fine with not shorting stocks. And for those of you wondering why this stock ran up like crazy, I'm going to tell you it had nothing to do with the float because they got a $105 million float, which I know it's not that anymore. But at the time before the stock ran up, that's what it was. And that is not the reason why it ran up. The reason why it ran up, the CEO came out and he outlined plans going into 2020. So that's basically it having really good guidance going into the future of 2020. And that's one thing that the market really loves. If you have really good guidance, they love that. But I'm telling you, this stock is going to pull back pretty hard. That's what I think is going to happen. So we got ONTX pulled up today. I missed the big part here right in the morning, this big rip up, basically because I was following oil stocks and all that stuff. I wasn't really even thinking about ONTX. But I got into ONTX right around this area right here. And somebody alerted me to it. So I went ahead and I took a look at it. And from what I saw, it looked like a bull flag, you know, like a little miniature bull flag. And I knew getting in this that there wasn't going to be much room because 50 cents is really hard resistance level for this stock. So I knew going into this trade that I wasn't going to be making that much of a profit, maybe eight cents, maybe 10 cents if I'm lucky. So I went in, I tried to get 10,000 shares, but it only ended up filling me for, I think it was like 8,300. It didn't fill me all the way. And then we started ripping up here and I was like, all right, we're coming up to the 50 cents Walmart. Broke through, it went up to 52, and then we started coming back down. I'm like, uh, this is the wall. This We're, we're not going to be able to hold 50 cents. So I ended up selling at 51 cents. 
got out, got my money, because this stock has been close to burning me before, and I didn't want to be in it. And plus, my average was not that great, so it's not something that I want to hold. So that's what happened to me today on ONTX, and I am still going to be watching this stock. I like this stock a lot. The float is extremely low, so this thing moves very quickly. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and uh, if you guys are making any money in the stock market, smash that like button down below. Smash it. Let's make some money, everybody.